I always told you that we can learn how to cook in five minutes. It's possible. They told you it's not possible, but I tell you it's possible because we have a professional in the house. She's a Cameroonian based in the U.S., and so we go over to her kitchen right now in Chicago where she's going to teach us how to cook some other good, good recipe. If you want to know what is on the menu today, let's check out Teresa Tande as she teaches us how to teach us, as I said, as she teaches us how to do healthier food choices right away and right now. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Terrace coming to you from Chicago. Today we're going to be making pan fried tilapia filet served with some oven baked sweet potatoes. Let's come back and talk some more about this dish. For this dish, we will need tilapia filet. I have my tilapia filet cut in manageable sizes, marinating for about two hours in a pureed mixture of some white pepper onion, a pinch of salt, ginger, garlic, habanero hot pepper, that's optional, half a bouillon cube, and red and green pepper. We will also need some mixed vegetables. I have green beans, corn, peas, and carrots. You can use whatever mixed vegetables you would like. We will also need our sweet potatoes. I have my sweet potatoes already cut in manageable sizes. I have it in cold water, that way it doesn't lose its color. For color and garnishing, we will be adding some orange pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, and some green pepper before we stick our sweet potatoes in the oven. Let's come back and talk about how we're going to go about the process. We'll start off with our sweet potatoes. We will steam that with a pinch of salt for about 15 minutes. Once that's done, we will drain out the water, add about a tablespoon or two of some peanut oil and our cut pepper. Once we do that, we we'll then stick it in the oven and let it bake for about 30 minutes. While all of that is going on, we pan fry our tilapia filet. Once we pan fry our tilapia filet and get it to a nice brown look, we will then stir fry our mixed vegetables. Let's come back and get this cooking going. I have my sweet potatoes in the pot already. I have also added a pinch of salt. As you can see, it's boiling already. I'm going to let it steam for about 15 minutes. This is what our sweet potatoes look like at this point. I steamed them for about 10 to 15 minutes and drained out the water. I then added about two tablespoons of some peanut oil and my crushed peppers. I have preheated my oven at 350 degrees. It's time to stick it in there. We'll let it bake for about 30 minutes. It's time to pan fry our tilapia filling. We will do so in about a tablespoon of oil. I have my oil warming up already. It's time to go ahead and add my fish. We'll add that and let it cook for about five minutes on both sides. We now have all our tilapia filet in the pan. We will let that cook for about five minutes and then flip side. This is what our fish looks like at this point. I have flip sides. I will let the other side cook for about five minutes and then take it out. It's now time to cook our mixed vegetables. As you can see, I've taken out my tilapia filet in the same pot as your mixed vegetables. I'm going to add two tablespoons of our pureed spices. A pinch of salt. And just about a quarter 
all some bouillon cube. I will let that simmer for about three to five minutes. My vegetables have been cooking for about three minutes and as you can see I have brought back my tilapia filet. I will let both of them just simmer there for another two minutes and it will be time to serve. I just checked my sweet potatoes in the oven as well and they are baked. Let's come back and serve. Well folks, we are all done. Today we made pan fried tilapia filet with some vegetables served with oven baked sweet potatoes and some peppers. Let's take a closer look at our dish. This is what it means to color your plate. I cannot wait to dig in. Doesn't that look delicious? Remember fish and vegetables are very good for you. And sweet potatoes are a good replacement for Irish potatoes because they are loaded with fiber and vitamins. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at Cooking with Therese and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, eating healthy does not have to be boring. Bye-bye and see you next time. And I totally agree with you, Therese, 10 day eating healthy shouldn't be a boring exercise. It should really be an artistic one. It should be a pleasurable exercise where you definitely take your time to make sure that what you take into your system definitely gives you a better look outside.